Right, hi, um, hopefully this will be quite a quick video, um, but you can turn off now if you want, you can turn off any time you like. This is, I'm getting my head, I'm still finishing things from embroidery school, and I'm in love with that class and what I've made in there, um, and I'm not finding it hard to let go, but I now need to try and make a space in my head for artist books for next week, so this is the kind of thing I'll be doing in there, I'm not going to tell you how I did all this, made this piece of created this piece of stitched paper and cloth and everything but what I did think I could do just because you haven't had a video for a while is just to show you what I want to do with this and this was taken from a bigger piece of lace cloth that was cut off there so and what I want to do I think this needs a bit of a lift this sheet so what I want to do is just literally add two beads just to see well, not just to see, I'm quietly confident, although I'll probably end up with egg on my face. I'm quietly confident that, that the bee, adding the beads will create the lift that I want. Now really what should be happening here, and which will happen, but off camera, because I don't want to send you all to sleep. I need to base this on first, tack it on, just roughly. Could have done that before I turn the camera on, I suppose. Um, and then the edges need to be secured obviously properly and decoratively but I can do that later as long as I've got this on here so that I can add the beads anything else will come later I just wanted to satisfy my own curiosity that putting a couple of beads on here would lift it how I envisage they would um, and I thought, kill two birds with one stone and make a quick video for my blog. Um, so nearly all the way around. But I do think lace like cloth looks good on this paper and I'm thinking I might use a bit of colour around the edges not a lot but just to lift it just a little tiny pop of colour maybe right so now I need some cotton abroader which I've got here find the end Where's the end, Karen? This is a new skein I opened last night and I don't wind them on cards because I go through them too quickly. But what I do do, do do, is when I go to bed, I'm usually really tired by the time I decide I'm going to bed. And so I don't put it away properly. I put it on the settee, sofa. So when I get up in the morning, you can guarantee there it is, that my foot will catch it or something mix it all up because I sit on my feet all the time um, and then I won't be able to find the end but there you go I've got it now so I just need to put a little knot in this I want to put one bead across here and another one somewhere else um, so if I come up there my hoop down the floor. Don't need my hoop really. So if I come up there, it's very, very simple, very, very simple. And I've got these lovely beads. I bought a necklace and accessorise in the sale. Um just to cut it up to get the beads off it. It's quite heavy this silver one. Look way right there. So if I and then go down there and because it's quite a heavy bead I'm going to come up again and go through it again so it's on two strands I'm not concerned that it's going to be moving about on there I'm getting a bit um, partial to an abacus effect where it moves about 
sure that's that one on there and yeah it does lift it so if I fasten that off at the back and then put another one on from the same necklace So you've got to try and like, I always say in my classes, see the bigger picture. You've got to try and see the bigger picture with this. Because this has to be attached. So even if I did it with all white French knots, there would be more texture going on. It's because it's just plonked on at the minute and not stitched in and not integrated. Um, so I've got two more holes here. One here and one here. Um, I'm going to put another one in the middle of that smaller one and it's off the same necklace but it's different. It's like an engraved rectangular bead. So I can come up here this time. This one might actually fill the hole on this because it's quite a small hole. And go down there. And again, and come up again and give it two strands because it's quite heavy. Now if you've done embroidery school, there's something you could do with these strands that I'm not going to tell you in this public video, but answers on a postcard. Um, I think you'll know. So there, so that was really quick. How long is that? Six minutes. But it has lifted the sheet. If, you, if I pull out, when I just knock this off and pull out as a whole, it's definitely lifted that sheet. So it's a very valuable exercise. Oh! Just put my needle there. And. Well, you'll see it in the pictures anyway. Uh, Definitely. And these little tassels have got bells on the end, uh, little danglers, and actually some metal buttons over there in that area too. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So now I need to go away and titivate those edges and remove that basting. Okay. <laughs>